Hi, this is John Leonard from The Art of Mobilia. I'm here with John, who has an absolute incredible collection. We do a series of these videos around the passion behind the cars, and there's not a person I've met in the last 10 years that has more passion and more stories about his car collection than, uh, than John. John, uh, tell us a little bit about um, how this came to be. Maybe we can start with a couple of the cars here. There's certainly no shortage of cars anywhere. Um, tell, us, tell us, I guess, maybe how the collection came to be and then let's, let's talk about some of the individual cars and, and the stories behind them. Well, when I was uh, six or eight years old, I got a disease, it's terminal, and it's car collecting. I don't know how I got it. I used to sit in the 1914 uh, Saxon in a barn in Ohio, and I got the disease, and I've never gotten rid of it. And this was this is a car that I delivered the new car to Mr. Andrew Jurgens of Jurgens Hand Lotion back in 1960. He had kept it at Claridge's Hotel in London for 30 years, from 1930 to 1960. When I was working as a kid at the Rolls dealership, I they said, take the new Bentley down to Mr. Jurgens and bring back the trade-in. So I went down there thinking it'd be a trade-in, it might be five or ten years old. And I see this thing sitting there. And it's, it's original paint, it's absolutely original, he never changed anything on it. It's silver plated, he used it over in Europe uh, for that 30 years and then brought it back for a trade-in. And I took it back to Indianapolis and it was sold to a man who had it for 55 years. And he told his son, when you're, if you don't want to take care of that car, you call Gams and he'll buy it. So I got a call about three months ago. Wow! And wow! Bought it. So that this fixed. car takes you right back to your teen years, and when you get behind the wheel. Yeah, I don't fit as well as I used to, but yes, that's good. Yeah, cool. that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. The next one over there was uh, Mr. Five Percent. He was a Kalus Gulbenkian. He was he got five percent of all the oil that came out of Iraq and Iran and Persia and uh, he represented the Emirates and he didn't want money. He said, just give me 5% of all the oil that I negotiated. So he was the richest man in the world at that time. And it's wow. a French body, Kellner body made in Paris. And that stayed at the, uh, one of the hotels all his life in Paris. It's original interior, but it's been repainted. This is all original. Wow. The, the stories that uh, you have and the cars that you have, there seems to be a reoccurring theme. You drove it at an early age, time passes, people ch change those cars, and then suddenly a phone call comes. Yep, that's right. They find me. Yeah, yeah. The they cars find you. do. How do they find I the mean, cars? How, how do they really find you? Is it every, you have that impression on people? Like, this is a guy that wants this car at some point, or. I'm not bashful. Yeah, <laughs> you ask for the business. Mm -hmm. I get it, I get it. Well, that's fantastic. Tell us a little bit about this car. That's a Thomas Flyer. And in 1908, the uh, New York Times and the Paris paper put up $100,000 and got invited people to participate in this. And there were seven, six or seven manufacturers that put up a car. And they went from Paris, excuse me, from New York to San Francisco. Actually, they went up north to the Bering Sea, thinking they could drive across it, which was crazy. The ice is like this, they couldn't do it. So they went back to Spokane or, or uh, Vancouver, shipped them across to Japan, drove across Japan, went to Vladivostok, went across Russia, went across Germany, into Paris, and the Thomas Flyer won. And so they were the best car in the world, no questions asked, except they went bankrupt in three years because they kept building the same car. They didn't progress because they had the best. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> and is this a car that you had restored, or is this a car you bought it that way? I bought it in pieces. Yeah. It was. The body was off, the engine was apart, it hadn't been restored at all. Right. And so it was kind of a crapshoot buying the thing. Yeah. And, uh, but when we got the engine apart, we put the original rings back in, we put the original valves, the original bearings. It had no miles on it. The, the timing gears had gone bad, so they parked the car. Yeah. And uh, it turned out we, we got lucky we didn't do that. <laughs> well, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Well, that's great. Well, good. So let's walk over here and we'll uh, take a look at some of the other uh, the interesting cars we have. A great value, mileage rollover, and tiered mileage plans. Classic Auto, insuring your vehicle, insuring your passion. Call or click Classic Auto today.